All right, class, time to get out your pencils and papers and learn something. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another teaching with Mr. Fixer. I'm going to show you today how to use a ME interface to build what you need. And today I'm going to show you how to do it with just Iridium. Oops, that doesn't go there. That goes there. Get that out of there. What you do is this is the Normally you put like a crafting recipe here, but since there is no crafting recipe to make an iridium alloy plate, you just put one of whatever it is that you would normally put through the machine. In this case, you put an iridium alloy ingot into an implosion compressor, and you can see it doesn't actually give you anything here, so you manually put in an iridium plate, punch in code, and now you have something that says you craft one iridium plate with one iridium alloy ingot. Now what do you do with this? This is the more difficult part. I have searched for quite a bit on the internet before I finally figured this out. I have rebuilt my implosion compressor over here so I can easily attach it to this ME network. This is the ME import bus to take stuff out of the compressor. And going up here, whoops. There we go. Over there is my ME export bus sent to put all of my industrial TNT into the implosion compressor so it keeps it full. And this is where you put this. This says, whenever you have a request for one iridium plate, take one iridium alloy ingot from the network and put it into the top part of this, because this is above that. Just the same way that a build craft pipe would put it into this sock section here. So what I'm going to do is come over here, put that up inside, tell it I want an iridium plate. Click on it, select one, and it should, come on, let me select the implosion compressor. Ah, looks like it might have already done it. And there we go. You have one iridium plate. It put it through the compressor and then pulled it back into the network. So that is how you can do that. Um, you do, of course, need to have the whole crafting setup, which I have downstairs. This is my crafting section. And for those of you who do not know, you right click on this and you can see anything that's presently being crafted. Let's see, I could use, let's see, do I have, uh, no, I got plenty of pulsating chipsets. How about gates? Oh, I have a, I'll take this gate out. And I'll tell it I want to craft four gates. So there we go. Now you can see it shoved all the materials necessary into this. And Fred here is just collecting everything that pops out of the assembly table. Although this one, I think, actually pops it back into the ME interface. But you can see it's making the gates. It put all the necessary resources in here. Oops. They're really handy for these devices. I have one set here for my pulverizer so that I can make flint dust, coal dust, tin dust, enderpearl dust, and blaze powder. It shoves it into the pulverizer, which puts it back into the chest, which then feeds it back into the system. Anyway, I hope you've had this, uh, enjoyed this instructional video. I hope you have a pleasant evening and good night.